team good morning all uh, we will start the session sharp at 10 am let's wait for another 3 to 5 minutes um, thank you all so everyone want to everyone who joined today so uh, this will be uh, the seventh session of the this is a one question uh respect to testimonial in robot framework and i could see in the registration also most of the students for the test Okay. So uh, let's start the session of the day, and we are going to check the ability to do so. Have a session, and uh, feel free to type in uh, the doubts you have in the comment section. Uh, those who are watching us through YouTube can use the chat box. hi uh good morning all so this is uh, sam from skira zone i think there was some problem with the audio from manu so let me tell you this is going to be a session on a robot framework and um, you you uh, in case you are having any questions you can um you can type your questions as comments so this um, this session is also recorded and uh, is going live on uh, youtube so any time if you want to uh, come and have a relook you can get that from our uh, youtube channel obscura zone 
okay so without any further delay uh, let's get started so once again thanks everyone for uh, joining this session so this is going to be a one one and a half hour session uh, where uh, uh, we'll be having the theory as well as the practical part of uh, robot framework so towards the end we'll be having a q and a as well so let's get started with the agenda like what are we going to cover today so before that uh, uh, before that i just wanted to know how many of you have uh, worked on test automation uh, using tools like selenium or any 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 uh, same similar tools uh, just let let me know uh, his comments uh, just type in uh, his comments and let me know whether you are having experience in test automation so that will be really helpful to drive this session Okay, I can see a few comments. So, is there anyone who has got some experience with Selenium? Yeah, I can see some comments uh, in YouTube. Okay, so no worries. Uh, we'll uh, keep the session in such a way that uh, beginner as well as uh, 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 beginner as well as um, newcomer can uh, understand what is robot framework and can get started with this uh, basically with this session so what are the topics that we are going to cover today so we'll be discussing what is robot framework and uh, we'll look at the architecture of robot framework and then uh, we'll see why uh, why we need a robot framework. Then uh, uh, we'll talk about the implementation of uh, robot framework. And then uh, we'll see uh, how to analyze the reports and logs of robot framework. Then uh, we'll look at the documentation and resources available uh, for you to get started with uh, this tool. And then we'll see how to uh, set up the framework. Then uh, we'll have a hands-on uh, uh, kind of demo where you uh, can understand how to how to create a script in uh, how to create a test case in uh, robot framework using Selenium library. Then we'll also uh, see how to run your test. Then how to verify reports how to create variables, how to provide settings, tags, and comments, keywords, extra in a robot framework. And also we'll uh, look at the command line execution, um, then how to do parallel execution. And, and also we'll uh, look at some other uh, use cases uh, that we have uh, with the robot framework. Okay, moving on, uh, let's start with uh, what is robot framework. So this is very important. So it is very important to understand what is robot framework before we uh, start using it. So years back when I uh, started to know about this tool or when I started to learn about this tool, I thought that robot framework is something like Selenium. So I thought it is uh, it can be a alternative for Selenium, but my uh, my assumption was completely wrong. So robot framework, what is it? It is a generic open source automation framework. So robot framework basically knows nothing about Selenium. Okay, it is a 
generic open source framework which can be used for test automation so this framework robot framework was uh, initially developed by nokia networks and was later open source in the year 2008 so it is a completely open source tool uh, where we have an ecosystem of uh, libraries uh, which can be used along with robot framework so robot framework is basically written uh, in python that is it is completely python based which is mostly mostly used for acceptance testing uh, and uh, used in uh, um, development practices like attd that is acceptance test driven development and uh, bdd behavior driven development and is also used in uh, robotic process automation so basically robot framework is used in a uh, distributed heterogeneous environments where automation requires using different technologies and interfaces so robot where can we use robot framework robot framework can be used in areas where we have to automate uh, various various applications having uh, different technologies so robot framework provides that kind of support so we'll discuss that in the coming slides how uh, how about the how the robot framework is structured how to install that and how to get started uh, with the scripting so moving on what is a framework uh, architecture of robot framework so robot framework is highly modular which means whatever whatever uh, components that the robot framework is having it is highly structured and it is it is separated as modules so you have uh, you have the option to separate the data from your test cases so robot framework has got uh, robot framework has got its own libraries so these libraries are basically packages where the core uh, core uh, code is written okay so we have got the default uh, or the basic library for robot framework and we have external libraries external libraries um, for example we have libraries for selenium we have libraries for uh, the basic operations for example in order to handle string we have a library so there are a lot of inbuilt and external libraries available which are kind of isolated or which are available as different different modules so tools we have in the, uh, the robot framework has integration with various tools uh, which are popular in uh, automation space and also uh, it has uh, system level interfaces that is if you want to uh, uh, run some automation in your desktop or you want to run it on a browser or it or you want to run it on a different environment you have the uh, interfaces available which can be used to uh, uh, which can be useful in uh, the robot framework automation so there are a lot of interfaces and libraries available uh, so one of the important uh, matter here is the core framework of robot framework uh does not know about anything uh, about the system that we are testing it is uh, just a framework based library okay which can be extended by various automation tools now why do we need a robot framework so there are a lot of tools available in the market Okay, Selenium is one of the popular uh, functional automation tool. Uh, so there is Trice and these. There are a lot of paid tools available. So what makes uh, Robot Framework unique, or what is the reason that we should uh, start using Robot Framework? So these are some of the reasons. Uh, Robot Framework has, uh, um, or they provide a tableau syntax of creating test cases. So whatever test case you create in a robot framework, it is highly structured. Okay, you can follow the tabular syntax. 
Then another important feature of robot framework is it is basically a keyword driven framework. So whatever, whatever uh, functions, whatever utilities that you see in robot framework, they're written as keywords. So it is basically a highly reusable keyword library. So robot framework also provides uh, reports. So it, we don't need to integrate any uh, external report. So it has got uh, its own report and logging uh, uh, mechanism. So we have the HTML format uh, reports available. Like any other automation tool, uh, robot framework is platform independent. That is, you can run your test cases in a Linux machine or in a Windows machine or in a Mac machine. Then uh, it is also application independent. So if you are having a, a web application that is developed in Python, you can go for robot framework. That doesn't matter if it is a, a Windows, um, if it is a, if it is a C sharp based application or if it is a Java based application. So whatever uh, technologies that application has been developed, doesn't matter. You can you can use robot framework. Then robot framework also provides uh, their uh, API libraries. So if you want to customize or if you want to uh, leverage the robot framework for advanced operations, you can use their libraries. So you can natively implement. Um, you can implement the libraries using Python or Java. So those are the two options available. Then uh, uh, it has the command line interface. So when we talk about automation, it is important that we need to execute our test cases from tools like uh, uh, continuous integration tools like Jenkins or any similar uh, CCD tool. So for that, we need the command line execution. So Robot Framework has a command line uh, interface where you can run your scripts uh, without having, uh, um, without using any IDEs, uh, so directly through their command line. Okay, then uh, so most of the automation uh, that is happening nowadays, um, most of them are on on the web part, so where teams are using Selenium. So Robot Framework provides support for Selenium. That is, we have a library uh, for uh, uh, Selenium, which can be used along with Robot Framework. And if you are having a desktop-based testing, okay, let's say you are having a Java-based application, still you can use Robot Framework. So there are libraries available, which can be used to integrate with Robot Framework. Then uh, it also support various other technologies like Telnet, SSH, even uh, robotic process automation is supported in Robot Framework. So Robot Framework, in Robot Framework, we can create data-driven test cases, which is really required once you uh, run automation in an enterprise level. Then uh, we have support for variables. We can parameterize your test. Then um, like any other uh, automation tool, Robot Framework also has the tagging feature. So we'll come to that uh, in the practical session. So we'll be able to you will be you'll be able to understand how uh, it can be implemented in that way. So it has the tagging feature where you can execute a set of test cases. Let's say you are having thousand test cases written, and now you want to hun execute hundred test cases as your smoke suit or as a regression suit, you can do it with Robot Framework. The Robot Framework has uh, enables easy integration with source control systems. If you are using uh, GitHub, uh, you, if you are using Git or using GitHub or Bitbucket or any other source control um, systems, then you can integrate that, uh, the, you can integrate uh, with that, the Robot Framework provides all kind of support. So uh, test cases and test suits can be created in a Robot Framework. So you can create, set up, and tear down. So we'll come to that during the practical session. Uh, so we'll explain how to 
uh, how to create the suit, how to create test cases. So Robot Framework has those capabilities. Um, so another uh, important feature is Robot Framework has uh, integration with uh, uh, various other external tools. So there are a lot of interfaces available where you can integrate Robot Framework with external tools. So these are some of the reasons, main uh, or the important reasons uh, for which you should use a robot framework. Uh, I hope, hope that this is clear. Okay. So moving on, uh, let's talk about the framework implementation. So imagine you, you decided to learn robot framework. Now you want to implement it. Okay, so as I said earlier, uh, robot framework is basically Python based. So you need Python. Okay, even you can implement it in Java or other languages, but still you need Python to run your robot framework. So robot framework keywords can be implemented uh, uh, in uh, Python, in Java, in .NET, Perl, JavaScript, and PHP. So there are supports available for different other languages where you can use the robot framework along with the code. So what are the prerequisites? Uh, what do you need in order to start with robot framework? Do you need uh, programming skills? No, we don't need any programming skills in order to get started with robot framework. But if you're having any programming knowledge, let's say if you know Python or if you know Java, it will be helpful if you want to scale, if you want to take this robot framework to the next level by creating custom libraries or custom functionalities on top of the already available framework. But it is not a prerequisite. You don't need to learn programming in order to start robot framework. Then, uh, so what do you need to know? Just need to know uh, you need to have an understanding about the robot framework, how it is structured, how to create test cases, how to run them, how to edit, and just how to use them. Okay, so you don't need to know, know any kind of programming skills in order to excel uh, on a robot framework. Now, let me show you how a test case will look like in robot framework. So this is an example. So so what you see on screen is a snippet of test case file. So this file is basically called as a dot robot file where we will write our test cases. So here you can see uh, the test case name is valid login. And below that you can see certain keywords. So there is a keyword uh, open browser to login page, which in turn uh, uh, performs uh, open browser operation and then followed by uh, input username. So you're going to input some username, you're going to input some password, then you are going to uh, click on submit button and you are doing some uh, assertion or you are doing some verification like welcome page should be open. So this is a keyword, okay, behind the scenes, there are uh, things happening which will uh, basically do the operation for us and tear down is the final step where uh, after completing this execution it will close the browser so this is an example where uh, you can see the the basic keywords uh, used for a sample test case okay we'll come to that how to create it uh, how to create that and how to run the test okay so that you will get a better understanding now to talk about the reports and log, these are the basic reports that uh, the robot framework provides. So, uh, so they are uh, HTML reports, which give a uh, clear uh, explanation about what are the test cases, what are the test suits executed, what are the test cases executed, and uh, how much time it has taken. The pass and fail status will be clearly displayed. Again, you can also drill down to each test and see what are the uh, what are the happenings. So you can see um, 
the execution log in the second image you can see the execution log so you can see uh, in each step what is the activity that is getting happened and it also has a feature like you know um, if you are using selenium library if there is any failure happens it will automatically take the screenshot and it will attach that with the report okay so this this is about uh, reports and logs now what is a uh, what are the documentations available so if you want to uh, learn robot framework what is a documentation available is there any training material uh, so that the, the the robot framework provides so you don't need to the the beauty of robot framework is that it is well documented you don't need to depend on uh, any any kind of tutorials so we whatever whatever details we need to uh, set up a robot framework and we need to uh, learn um, the basics of robot framework it is available uh, from their website okay so i will just give a quick walk through uh, about the robot framework website okay so this is robot framework website you can just uh, google for robot framework so it will take you to the the uh, official website so this website contain the end to end information that uh, you require uh, so basically it talks about the history of robot framework uh, about their licensing mechanism uh, about who uh, who has developed that what are the environment av available available uh, and uh, the sponsors of uh, robot framework a lot of automation related uh, companies they have uh, they actively sponsor the robot framework development then uh, uh, we can see a, a snapshot of test cases reports keywords uh, the libraries used in robot framework suppose some other features that are applicable uh, to robot framework so you can get that information here so the important part uh, so what is what is robot framework ecosystem so i said earlier like we have a lot of external uh, tools that can be integrated with robot framework so there are some uh, external libraries there are some standard libraries and there are other few libraries uh, which is basically um, integrated with the robot framework so if you look at the standard libraries uh, it, it uh, means that these are the built in libraries available within robot framework suppose if you want to do some operation uh, on the native system or the operating system so there is a library available if you want to do some operation on string because there is a library available here so using this library it, ha it has got a clear documentation on the keywords okay so we have that standard libraries then we have external libraries so external libraries there are a lot of uh, third party libraries that uh, robot framework support so if you look this example selenium library so the selenium okay so the the official selenium the latest version 3.14 is supported and is available with robot framework so whatever operations that you perform on selenium you can do the exactly the same using robot framework so we have the same uh, selenium library available here and it's also uh, and, and if you click on that uh, you can see the github repository where it is maintained and it also gives a clear, a clear documentation on how to set up and install uh, um, this library in order to use with robot framework so that's about uh, selenium library similarly if you want to do uh, desktop automation so you have um, uh, if you want to do some automation on the windows gui you have a wide library available which you can use with robot framework then uh, can you can also use autoid library which is another gui testing uh, tool uh, even you can use apm if you want to do mobile automation we have a apm library available which you can use uh, with lab with robot framework okay so moving on to the next part um, 
so tools we need a uh, uh, we need uh, uh, editors in order to uh, make changes uh, to the test cases so there are uh, uh, so there are some built there are editors available like uh, uh, if you are using eclipse uh, uh, then you can go for uh, eclipse plugin okay so uh, there is a plugin available for intellij uh, yeah this is a uh, redis also another plugin which you can use for uh, eclipse so basically if you want to start development on uh, robot framework or if you want to create test cases with robot framework you can opt uh, any uh, uh, any ides that is that are normally available so a uh, robot framework support for most of the provide support for most of the development environments like pycharm uh, um, eclipse intellij so uh, even visual studio you can you can do it with visual studio so the information on these editors are available here uh, so the build tools if you uh, if you are using jenkins there is a plugin available uh, uh, which will def uh, which will collect and publish robot framework results uh, it has also got the maven integration and and uh, integration so these are basically the build tools which robot framework support and also there are uh, several other uh, third party libraries which can be used to extend the basic uh, robot framework uh, so there are there are certain uh, tools like pabot which i uh, will be using in this session in order to do parallel execution so similarly there are a lot of uh, tools uh, xray is a test management tool which we can uh, integrate with jira in order to track and uh, uh, and in order to track the coverage of your test cases so there are a lot of integration available okay then uh, in so for learning we have uh, we have a clear documentation on how to install uh, robot framework available here so there are some uh, documentation on uh, quick, quick start guide how to write good test cases okay uh, the details on their public libraries and then uh, so let's say you uh, you don't know anything about robot framework but you just want to know how it runs okay you just need to uh, get a demo on that then you have a, a project uh, the demo projects already created so there is a project available uh, showing the demo of uh, uh, demo of selenium library using robot framework so if you click on that you can download that from the uh, github okay and there is information on how to set the uh, this basic project okay you can just follow that and uh, you'll be able to uh, set it up uh, then uh, then you have an example where uh, we are using uh, they are using a custom library using uh, the robot framework then uh, uh, a demo on uh, atdd with robot framework so there are several other use cases okay then uh, coming to training and certification they provide a certification on uh, on robot framework so you can find those kind of information here there is a one hour uh, video free video on introduction to robot framework available which you can watch so there are uh, uh, also some information about their conference um uh which usually happens um freaking uh, times and about the robot framework workshops yeah that's uh, pretty much about uh, their uh, website okay so let's come back and see what is next so now let's look at uh, the framework setup so uh, i told you earlier like we need python so the very st first step is to set up python okay so python uh, can be downloaded from uh, from the official website so just uh, search for python download so you can uh, download the latest version of python so there are 
two versions of python python 2 and python 3 so you can go out with uh, so both versions are supported you can go out with the latest version for now so python uh, 3.9.2 is the latest version so once you install python just make sure that uh, so one, once you click on once you download and click on the libraries uh, to install uh, the setup to install you will get a window like this which you need to uh, check the checkbox for add python to 3.9 path by add, add python 3.9 to path so this will set uh, the path variable for python so just make sure that uh, this checkbox is ticked and also click on the custom installation so there you will get the window like this uh, the second image so here just make sure that the first checkbox is ticked that is install for all users so remaining all uh, checkboxes uh, will be ticked by default and uh, by default it will uh, identify the c program files as the install directory okay so this is where it is going to install python and you can just proceed with uh, installation by clicking on install so by doing this python will be installed okay so as I said, uh, Python, uh, the latest version of Python, it also includes uh, pip. Pip is the uh, library, the package manager for uh, package manager for, for Python. So we need, if you need to use uh, if you need to use Selenium library, and you need to download that. So we are downloading it using pip. So I will show you uh, once you install. So once you install uh, Python, just run the command prompt as admin and just type in. Python minus minus version. So you should be able to um, see the right version of Python installed. Similarly, if you type in pip minus minus version, you should be also able to see the installation of pip that is 21.0.1 so these two uh, uh, two uh, installations are definitely required so once you install python you will have uh, python ready and uh, the pip ready with you so now once a python is set up Okay, you have Python in your uh, system. Now, what next? You need to have uh, uh, the IDE set up. That is, uh, we can have, uh, we can use any IDE basically. So there are a lot of uh, IDEs that uh, Robert Framework basically support. So in this session, I'm I'm showing you how to set up that, um, uh, how, how to set up the prerequisites for uh, the IDEs. That is, if you are using Eclipse, how to do that or if you are using PyCharm, how to set up that. So uh, if you want to install, uh, uh, if you want to use it with PyCharm, okay? So you just need to download the Py PyCharm tool from their uh, website. So you can just type in, you can just search for PyCharm download. So PyCharm uh, is basically uh, um, uh, the ID purely for Python. So you can download this community edition, which is uh, free and open source. And uh, you need to install that. So I have already downloaded and installed PyCharm. So you'll have PyCharm in your system. Okay, once it is installed. Now, uh, PyCharm, uh, in order to work with a robot framework, uh, you need to have a plugin. Okay, so how to uh, how to set up that plugin? I will show you. Let me close this. So this is the PyCharm uh, um, PyCharm uh, ID. So here, uh, how to set up the uh, plugin for uh, robot framework support? So go to settings uh, or click on file, go to settings. So here we have plugins and plugins. You can just search for Selenium. 
so we can uh, it will give you indelibot so indelibot uh, as a result indelibot selenium library patch this is the plugin available for robot framework support so what it, it exactly does once you create a um, one this is an example for robot framework uh, library uh, project so uh, these are the robot framework files that you create i will show you how to create that so uh, by installing this tool you can uh, it will uh, give this icons for robot framework and also uh, it gives the color support uh, the otherwise if you are not installing this uh, uh, plugin you will just see a, a plain notepad kind of file so this color options and this uh, highlighting uh, these all things comes with this plugin okay and apart from this uh, if you want to run a test okay you do you do need to do some certain configuration and what is that so this is the configuration i will show how to do that so what you need to do go to the settings again uh, the tools option is here here you can click on the external tools here we can just uh, uh, click on this plus button in order to add an external tool so just click on that you need to uh, uh, browse what is the program you are going to run and what are the arguments that you are going to run and what is the working directory of your program so right now i have already created that so you just need to uh, uh, replicate the same just create give a name and browse the robot.exe so once the python is installed uh, uh, once um, the uh, the robot framework is installed you will have the robot.exe just need to browse this thing uh, from the python library and uh, you need to give the arguments file name and working directory so these are some of the basic settings once you do, do this uh, you will have uh, an option when you right click so there is uh, once you right click you have option for external tools and the robot option will be available okay so this is the this is the, basically these two are the setup uh, activities that required for you to uh, run robot framework uh, in pycharm so first one is to uh, set up the plugin uh, the indelibot plugin and second one is to uh send uh, set the external tools uh to run the uh, python uh, uh sorry uh, to run the robot framework uh, test cases okay so this is one of the option okay you basically uh, uh if you are having pycharm you uh, you can go with the, you go out with this but uh, there is another easy option so we'll be focusing uh, on on the eclipse uh, for this session in uh, eclipse uh, you can configure robot framework so most of the automation testers or most of the people who have uh, worked on selenium uh, at least have a basic understanding about eclipse so it is better to uh, show how to create a test cases uh, in robot framework using eclipse so if you are uh, if you are going to use eclipse what do you need to do you just need to download eclipse so you can just uh, search for eclipse download so you can download the latest version of eclipse from uh, uh, eclipse.org website and you can install so i have uh, the eclipse already uh, downloaded so i have the eclipse available with me now we also need a editor so in order to see the robot test cases or the color highlighting kind of things you need a, an editor so red is a, a editor that is uh, required for uh, eclipse so how to install a red so go to uh, the eclipse marketplace just click on the help and go to click on eclipse marketplace so here uh, 
if you uh, if you search for uh, red you will be able to see uh, this uh, this icon so red is the editor here you can just search on that uh, for this red editor okay, it will take some time So basically, Eclipse is uh, more user friendly uh, compared to PyCharm, uh, uh, provided we have this uh, uh, red robot editor. So here you can uh, search for red. So you will get the result red robot editor. Uh, so you need to click on install and uh, so this will do the installation for you. So red. Uh, this plugin will be added to your IDE. So I know I have already uh, I already have that installed. So once you install Red, you are uh, good to start with uh, uh, the robot framework. So uh, before that, we need to do uh, some installation. That is, right now we don't have the robot framework installed. So how to install a robot framework? We are doing it using the pip. So pip is already the package manager for uh, Python. So we are installing a, a robot framework using the pip command. So again, go to command prompt and you just need to type in this command, pip install robot framework. This will install a robot framework to your system. So the, live, the files will be getting downloaded to the uh, Python library, Python folder under site packages. Right now I have already, I have already have this installed so that it will say like a requirement already satisfied. So if you're doing it for the first time, you will get, uh, it will take some time and will download the libraries and we'll have that everything ready in this uh, Python library folder. Okay, so similarly, um, if you want to update the version of pip, this is a command. Now we just installed a robot framework now, and or, or I already have the robot framework. What is what is the step required to install Selenium library? For for this uh, demo uh, or for this hands-on session, in like we'll be using Selenium library. Okay, so how to install that? Again, this is a uh, this is the pip command in order to install a uh, selenium library okay so go to this command prompt and just type pip install robot framework hyphen selenium library so right now it is already installed for me so if, if you are doing it for the first time it will download these libraries so you can see the selenium version 3.14.1.0 so this will be downloaded to the library then uh, this is another uh, uh, option. Uh, this is optional. If you want, uh, uh, if you want to have uh, um, this web drivers, uh, if those who worked on Selenium uh, already know, like you know, in order to work with Chrome, uh, we need Chrome uh, drivers. So this is the command where we install a, a driver manager. So uh, just go run this command in command prompt. Um, it will download the web driver manager where you can use uh, the drivers, cron driver, Firefox driver, the driver for Firefox or IE. So it will download and it will uh, set up that for you. But this is an optional uh, optional way. Like you know, we we have another uh, way that I will explain. Okay. So right now. After uh, uh, after doing these all activities, we have Python ready. So we have a, a robot framework ready. We have uh, installed the Selenium library, and uh, um, and we have this uh, Eclipse ready with Red Editor. Now let's start with how how we can uh, how we can start creating test cases uh, using a robot framework. So this is my Eclipse workspace. So if you uh, if you open uh, Eclipse, um, you can you will get a workspace. There uh, you need to create a project. 
okay so how to do that uh, click on new and uh, uh, go to others option so click on this others so you will have a new uh, uh, new option okay once you install this uh, red editor you will have this option okay called a robot framework expand that you will see uh, 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 the robot project okay so this is the option that we need to create a new project in a robot framework so just uh, click on that okay i'm um, now we need to give a name okay i'm just giving a name like robo 3 okay just giving a name okay click on finish so the default project got created now we need to create the test cases right for that uh, we need a folder so i'm just going to create a folder the folder name can be anything you can give it like test cases okay for now so i have created a folder and uh, okay and just there is a some there's something called a thread.xml so just click on that so by default it will identify uh, the python okay so as i said earlier python is already required uh, for um, running um, robot framework so it will automatically identify here or uh, you can you can edit it that from the libraries okay so let's leave leave that uh, setting so just go to the uh the test case folder that you created and just uh, click on uh click on new so we are going to create a uh test case or a robot file in order to start with robot framework okay so uh go to other again we have the robot framework option available here so there is an option called robot test suit Okay, so this test suite uh, will have, uh, uh, the, it will create uh, the sample uh, test suite for the robot framework. Just click on that. So it will ask us, okay, what option do we need? So by default, dot robot file is selected. You just need to leave it like what it is and just give a name. I'm going to give, uh, test cases underscore one okay just give any name so this is the name of uh, the robot file and just click on finish okay now we have the uh, we have our first uh, dot robot file created okay so now uh, okay let's uh, let, let's see how to uh, so there is no test cases so you can see there is a template uh, or this there is a uh, there is a default uh, uh, test case uh, option that was created once you create this file okay so under this you can create test cases okay so we are going to create the first test case okay how can we do that just uh, uh, just put uh, bring your cursor here and just hit an enter and uh give any name okay let's give this case one okay and again hit enter okay so this is the test case name now uh maybe uh, as it is our first test case we'll write uh we'll give some sample keywords and we'll and we'll see how it will look like so in order to give a uh, keyword you can just uh, type 
okay so we want uh, let me log something to console so just type in l and uh, do a click and space sorry do a control and space so you will uh, you will you will get uh, 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 the suggestions okay what are the keywords available so you can see log to console is a inbuilt keyword okay you can just click on that so here i am going to give some message let me give hello world okay so we so just clear the remaining portion okay so this is a sample test case where we are we are given a test case name and we are given a, we are using a sample keyword okay so if you if you just click on the keyword it will uh, show you the documentation okay what this keyword actually performs so it logs a, a message to console so whatever message we are providing here it will log here so you have the message okay so how to run this so right now we created our first uh, test case using robot framework now how to run this if you go, uh, if you go uh, to the right side of the uh, ide you can see uh, the test case that we have uh, created test case 1 so you can just right click there and you can click on the run okay there is an option for run okay just click on the run okay it will ask you to save this file okay i'm saving this okay now this test case got executed and it, it says okay one test was there one pass zero fail so we have executed the test case okay now we can see the results here okay so reports uh, as i said earlier we have the reports available in the dot html format uh, okay so just click on that so this will take you to the report section so where you can see this is the project name this is the folder name and this is the uh this is the dot robot file uh, uh, name uh, and uh, click on that you can see the test cases okay so whatever suit uh, we are having uh, we have uh, the logs created you can see what is a keyboard that a keyword that we have used we have used a keyword log to console and we have logged the message hello world okay so this is how we create a uh, sample test case in robot framework now uh, okay so this is just a basic script we are not using any external libraries we are using the internal library of robot framework in order to create this test and to, to run it now we want to uh, use selenium library so how to do that okay as i said earlier uh, we have already used uh, we have already installed um, so we have already installed selenium library using the pip command okay so we will have that ready in the system now we have to import that library to the eclipse project okay so for that um, we have something called as settings so if you just uh, uh, put your cursor on the line number two here and just do a control space, you will see what are the possible uh, uh, settings options that are available. So you can, these are the options available. So right now we have test cases similar to test cases. We have, uh, I'm going to use this settings, okay. Settings is basically uh, an area where we specify the library information and some of the settings that is applicable for this uh, dot robot uh, file so here i'm going to say that we need selenium library so how to import that you can just type in library you can just directly type in or you can just do control space okay it will give the suggestion library and these are the default libraries. We don't need default libraries. We are going for Selenium library. So 
just type in selenium library so initially it will show you error okay so we need to uh, um, we need to attach the selenium library to this project then only we can start using selenium so how to do that you can just uh, fix it using uh, a quick fix like control one so try control one okay so what happens uh, once you do a quick fix it will uh, automatically identify the selenium library so if it is not identified how we can do that just go to the uh, red dot xml okay and go to libraries here uh, we need to browse uh, the selenium library uh, to this project so you can go to this path so we have the selenium library once we install the uh, selenium library using python you will have that uh, um, selenium library added under uh, the python uh, folder so under python 39 under uh, live site packages so there is a folder for selenium library and under that you have to uh, you have to browse this underscore init dot py dot py so this path you have to browse and add so that you will have the library highlighted here okay so just make sure that uh, we have the uh, selenium library added here okay now you can start using selenium library now the settings part is completed now how to create a test case using uh, selenium library okay i'm going to add a, a new test case so how to do that again uh, hit under yeah, you can give a name like test test case 2 okay and hit under now we have uh, we need to use uh, libraries from selenium okay how to do that so selenium library has got a uh, good documentation on uh, on the selenium uh, selenium functionalities or selenium method uh, the methods or the keywords available so how you can just um, go to uh, google and uh, search for selenium library documentation okay so it will take you to the robot framework documentation for selenium library okay so you want to uh, you want to try some selenium operations you have the keywords available okay so this has got a clear documentation on how to use the keywords okay there are 173 keywords available uh, which you can uh, uh, use so you can search for each keyword okay here for example in our case okay in order to start with we need to open a browser okay if you want to do some operation on selenium at least you need to open the browser so what is the keyword available to open uh, chrome okay so in the documentation you can just search for open okay you can you will get keywords like open browser okay and whatever keywords that start with open okay so just click on this open you will get a documentation okay what are the what is a keyword so this is a keyword open browser is a keyword okay what are the arguments that it can intake so we can give url you can give browser name you can give some other settings additional settings okay so what is the name you can uh, give us a give as a parameter for example if you need google chrome Either you can give the parameter as Chrome or you can leave it like GC or you can give us Google Chrome like this way. Okay. So let's come back to Eclipse. Okay. That is one option. So if you want to uh, know, okay, if you want to do some operation using Selenium, if you already know the 
starting phrase you can just search uh, in their official documentation and it will give you the suggestion okay what keyword you need to use now i'm going to use open browser okay so here we have already added selenium library so we have the library already added so it will also help you to write the uh, keywords so you can just type in maybe for open browser you can just type in op and op and this search okay it will show okay this is available in selenium library okay just click on that it will show the usage okay for google chrome this is the usage okay this is a parameter that we need to give so just click on open browser okay now you need to give pass the parameter so you need to pass okay the url so right now i'm going going to give the url so just just copy the google uh, url and paste it here and give few spaces then i need to tell okay what is a browser that we need so i'm um, just typing chrome okay so this is enough for you to uh, open uh, chrome with this url okay so these are the keywords now uh, so those who worked on selenium uh, we already know uh, that selenium uh, in order to run on uh, on chrome we need drivers okay so earlier i explained how to uh, install the driver you can either uh, ins install it using the web driver manager okay and you can give the path where the live the path needs to be set and uh, you can give what, what browser you need okay an alternative is you can download the chrome driver so just you can search chrome driver so you can download the appropriate chrome driver okay you, so uh, just download that so i'm using the windows uh, machine so this uh, download the driver so just extract it so you will have the chrome driver.exe so once you extract that you will get chrome driver.exe then copy that and go to go to the uh, python folder okay so we have python installed in c program files python uh, 3.9 so go to script uh, scripts folder and just paste it here so that that particular version of uh, chrome driver will be taken okay so you don't need to make any changes in the project level okay so that is about uh, chrome setup so once that is done you are good to run your script okay now in order to run this so as i said earlier in the right side you can see the test suite and the test cases uh, available so just right click on that test case okay and and just run it so i'm uh, is asking to save this file okay so now chrome has started okay we have not written anything any steps to close this one so this is the uh, basic script using uh, selenium library so we'll 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 see like how you can use more keywords okay so now um, i'm trying to do some operations okay we need to let's say uh, in the chrome window that we have opened i'm going to search for uh, obscura zone okay just search for obscura zone and we'll have some result okay so i'm going to do that so uh, it is similar to how you do uh, things in uh, the traditional selenium so you need to have uh, an idea about selenium locators okay so i will show you what are the keywords required in order to perform this operation so basically uh, if you do so we want to do some operation on using selenium you 
how to perform click operation okay so i'm going to click on the search window so for that we need a keyword okay so just type in cl and do a control space so we'll get okay the there is a clear uh, click element uh library uh, the the keyword available from the selenium library you can just click on that and you need to provide the locator okay so what is locator locator is basically the way in which uh, selenium will identify this element present in the page okay so it is exactly uh, same as in uh, the traditional selenium where you need to pass the locator okay so uh, how can we get the locator i'm going to so we can go uh, we can look at the documentation okay in selenium library just type in click click element okay so it will show a clear documentation on how to perform this okay so here you can see uh details about the locator strategy so let's say if you want to click on particular element using x path what is the syntax so you need to uh, use this syntax that is x path followed by the x path value okay the same syntax we are going to use okay so i need to use this syntax x path i need to say that okay the locator is x path and i need to give the value of x path so here okay here here uh, if i inspect so this is same as how you do in selenium just uh, uh, inspect the element and copy any uh, any of the locator so we have we are going to use x path just copy the x path and just paste it here okay so now we have click this element okay uh, we have written the steps to click this element and we have provided the locator and the uh, locator uh, x path value now just uh, let us uh, uh, run this test okay okay now we have clicked on this uh, search window now uh, okay now i need to uh, hit enter okay let me write some additional uh, steps okay or maybe uh, if we need to input something we have the keyword available okay so we you can search for input if you search for in you will get inputs uh, input text okay input text is the keyword in selenium library in order to input some uh, data or input some text so just select that and we can use the same locator here and you can give uh, what is the text that you need to input so i'm just typing in obscura zone okay we don't need any other parameters just leave that okay so this will uh, click on this search window and it will input uh, the text obscura zone now we, we may need to hit enter in order to uh, perform the uh, so in order to we need to hit enter in order to perform the search so for that what i'm going to do i am going to type some other keyword like press keys so we have a keyword in selenium like press keys so all these keywords are available in uh, in the website okay you can uh, go to the selenium library you can you can uh, search for keys okay there is a keyword available for press keys and the syntax is also available here okay so i'm going to use that so press keys followed by locator and key so
I, I need to give the same locator. Okay, so just uh, let's try what happens uh, once we do this. So let me add some delay as well. Okay, we can give uh, sleep. So just like how you do in uh, sleep in Java or Python, you can uh, have a similar command that is available in robot framework that is sleep followed by uh, 5 as so it will sleep for uh, 5 seconds. Okay, now let me run this. Okay. So it will wait for it to complete. Okay, fine. Now I'm just going to close this one. So there is a um, there is a keyword um, in order to uh, close the browser. So just type in uh, or search for close. There is a keyword for close browser. So this one will close the browser. Okay, just run it. Okay, it waited for five seconds and then uh, it uh, closed the window. Okay. So any questions you can just type in, we'll try to answer that towards end or in between. So this is a basic step. Okay, you need to, uh, 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 that you can try with the Selenium. So if you have some knowledge on Selenium, you can definitely try that with the existing documentation. Now I'll quickly show some of the additional uh, uh, features uh, like what we have discussed in the introduction uh, that uh, primarily we are going to cover. Uh, so, okay, if you want an additional test case, okay, you can just copy paste it. Maybe you can copy paste it and give a different name. Okay, so this will be, uh, uh, this is, so right now we have three test cases, okay. Uh, so you can run it individually from here. So you will have the list of test cases and the keywords used. Uh, if you right click and uh, you can individually run each test case or you can run it on a suit level. So this one will trigger uh, all three uh, test cases. If you're right clicking on the test case level. Okay. So the first test case is passed. So we'll have the consolidated report. Okay, you'll have the report. You can just open it. We will have all uh, all three test cases, test case one, two, and three with the complete uh, list of details, uh, the keywords that we have used uh, in each step. Okay. Now, so we have not done any assertions or any any validations here. So how to do that? Uh, so in this particular scenario, we have searched for obscure zone and we got the result. Now I am going to verify this result. Okay, we have this. Uh, text okay so I'm going to verify this uh, result so how to do that um, so we can uh, get the text out of an element just like how we do in uh, selenium so the command is uh, get text or the, the keyword is get text so before uh, after just pressing enter and waiting for one second, I'm going to uh, type in the command get, okay. So 
so we have get text here so we need to pass the uh, the locator value uh, so here we need to identify okay this is the text that we are going to uh, extract so just inspect it so we have the text here i want to copy the x path okay and give it here using the same syntax x path okay now we have the um, uh, text extracted we have to store that to uh, a variable so in uh, in robot framework we have uh, uh, variables log we can create local variables as well as the suit level variables so how to do that you can just uh, create a variable just by uh, using the dollar sign followed by open braces and give some name result text okay so right now what happens we'll do a get text we'll extract the text from this uh, this element and we'll have that thing in uh, this variable okay now how to uh, how to do the assertion okay we have a uh, the text extracted okay in this text whatever text we are having here that is uh, obscure on selenium uh, manual testing core java whatever and this this text is extracted here and we have stored that to a variable now we need to validate it whether it is expired or not so we have uh, something called as should so if you search for should you can see should contain so should contain is a built in keyword that can be used to check some whether some item is some text is available in a particular container or some other item is available in some containers so basically i am going to give uh, the container so container is this variable and the item is uh, the text okay so we we just need to give uh, this text we just need to copy this text out of the html and just paste it here okay so now uh, it will get, extract the text and it will uh, check whether the result is uh, this text is contained there okay so if it is uh, contains it as will pass otherwise it will fail okay now let me run it so test case 3 okay so test has passed let's look at the report see you can see uh, okay the result contain this one okay so if i am changing the text okay the test will fail fails if container does not contain one or more items so let me uh, okay so this is um, basically how you do uh, this um, validation okay now you can we, we can use some basic commands like uh, uh, once you open this browser you can do maximize so just uh, just type max and do a control space you will get the keyword for maximize window this will maximize the window okay okay fine now uh, how can we uh, take this um, uh, the basic scripts to the next level like what are the possible um, um, options available in order to make this uh, test cases perfect or to make it uh, more uh, reusable so we have the options okay uh, like test cases 
uh, we can create keywords, uh, we can define um, variables. So let me show how to do, how to, to create a, um, in this case, uh, this um, robot file uh, variables. So just go and click on uh, inside the setting section and do a uh, control space. Okay, so uh, you can again see a uh, session for variables. So uh, there are a few questions like, uh, how, how is it do, possible to do parallel execution? So we'll come to that after this. I'll be showing you some use case where we can do parallel execution using Fabot library and uh, how can we handle repeaters in web page so well what you can do is in, in most of the selenium frameworks we use page uh, object model design patterns uh, in order to uh, make a framework uh, 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 reusable and to make it um, easy to understand the so same thing you can do it uh, in uh, uh, in robot framework where you can uh, you can define the locators. Let's say uh, we don't need to again copy paste the locators everywhere. Instead of that, you can create reusable variables. So I'm going to cre uh, create a variable here, just like how you have created the local variable. So just give some name like uh, search box. Okay, so this one, okay, this uh, locator thing can be simplified using variables. So now you just need to use this uh, variable. Okay, so let me run test case number two. Okay, it is running. So similarly, we can use uh, uh, or the we can define the uh, the locators uh, under the variable section, and so that you can simplify your test cases. Okay, so like this, we can give. Now. Uh, so what are the other options available? So you can see that in each test cases, we are repeating certain portion of code, which is not recommended. So how to avoid that? So we have uh, something called a test setup. So in set, go to settings and just type in for uh, test setup. So just uh, type in TE and just do a control space. You'll get uh, the, the suggestion on, on the keywords. Uh, or, or the settings part where we can use test setup. So what it does keywords is um, this is executed before every test case. Okay, uh, so uh, we are having test setup option available. So we can do uh, so you can uh, you can use this. Uh, you can rename this thing. Uh, you can just change uh, the open browser part to here. Okay, and you can remove that from the test case level. Okay. So you can remove this. Okay. Now, once we run that, So here we have not uh, we have written, not written the open browser code open browser keyword in any of the test case. Rather than that, we have uh, mentioned that in a single place at a uh, um, class level or at a at the robot file level. Okay. Now similarly, we can uh, we have we are repeating the cross uh, class browser step in each and every step. Okay. We can remove that. So similarly, we have something called as 
uh, test tear down. So we have something called a test tear down where so the repeating command. So whatever steps step, uh, steps that are repeating after each test case, okay, we can. We just need to give it once. Okay, you don't need to repeat it in each and every test case. Okay, so if you run this, okay, so it will run each test case one by one. Okay, test case one pass, test case two is running. See, test case two is pass. So, Okay, so so this is how you uh, simplify things in a uh, rubber framework. Okay. Now, uh, what are the other options available? So, so uh, just uh, type in control space. So we can see um, options like comments. So if you want to uh, give some comment, okay. So you can type in some comments. You can describe about uh, uh, what is uh, so what is happening here, or um, or you can just type in any comments so that is applicable here. Okay, so there is a comment section for that. Okay, then uh, uh, then we have something called as uh, keywords so that is also important. So I showed I, I told earlier. Whatever we do on robot framework, it is all about keywords. So maximize browser window is a default keyword from Selenium library. But we also have the option to create our own keywords. So you can define keywords specifically. So just uh, do a control space and, and you will get the keyword section where you can create a keyword. So I'm going to create a keyword. Uh, so let me write uh, open Chrome. Okay, so open Chrome is a keyword. Okay. Open Chrome with uh, URL. Okay. So just uh, keyword is open Chrome with URL, and we need to fill in the keywords with appropriate uh, built-in keywords. So I'm going to uh, use this thing, okay, the open browser thing to here, okay, and here I just need to call the keyword. I don't even. Uh, need to uh, write the steps one by one just i can create my own keywords okay and i'm going to run this okay so there is no change in execution so we have simplified the code by using uh, the scripts by using uh, keywords so if you, like this, whatever operation you are doing, it is just like creating methods in Java or creating functions in .NET, where we are simplifying these steps. We can club these uh, uh, Selenium keywords and the steps to form a uh, to form our own keyword, and we can use it anywhere. So these are the ways by which we can simplify the uh, execution. Okay. Now. Uh, Let's have a look at you know, how we can how you can do the parallel execution. So parallel execution, uh, we are uh, oh I, I will show you how we can run command line execution before that. Okay, so we right now we are running it uh, by just right clicking the suit. So we can also right click on the robot file. Okay, just right click on uh, this and we'll have option called run as robot test. Okay. So if you run this also, it will get executed. Okay, so that is another option. Now how to uh, run this from command line. So for command line, the the command that we need is robot. Okay. Robot is a command that we need. 
uh, followed by the file name. Okay, so I just need to navigate to uh, the file location. Just right click and just navigate to the file location. Uh, test case one dot robot. So I just need to open command prompt here. So just um, I'm just opening a command prompt. I'm navigating um, navigating to that folder. Sorry. So we are uh, we are in this test cases folder. Now I just need to uh, uh, type in the command robot hyphen the file name test cases underscore one dot robot. So it will again uh, uh, execute the same suite of test cases and uh, you will have the reports okay in the command line it will show once it is executed it will show the status and also the, the report location okay so you can get the reports the same folder you will have the reports So this is a report uh, under the test case. It will create the report folder. You can navigate, okay? And, uh, and, and additionally, we have uh, something I just forgot to mention. So we have the option to provide tags. So this will be helpful. So let's, let's say we have thousand number of uh, test cases and if you want to group them as regression or if you want to group them as smoke, uh, how we can do that, okay? So we can, uh, we have a feature called uh, tags. So how to do that? So there is something called as tags. So we can give a tag like regression So I can give this as smoke. So now you run this. So in the report, uh, we have the tag section where you can see, okay, I have two test cases for regression and I have one test case for smoke. Okay, this is how you classify. And also you can uh, uh, you can search, okay, if you have, a, if you're creating a folder particular for, uh, particularly for certain test cases, you can group it like this. Okay, if you have created multiple, you can group it uh, on a project level, you can uh, group it on a package level, you can group it on, uh, uh, the robot file level and you can see the results. Okay, now uh, how to do parallel execution. So parallel execution, uh, um, again, uh, uh, again, uh, the command line execution, uh, if you are not familiar, okay, let's say I, I will create one more, uh, one more dot robot file. So I'm just uh, copy pasting this and I'm giving it as test case underscore two. Okay. So now you have we have two uh, robot files. Okay. If you don't know, okay, what exactly the name is. Okay. In the command line, you can just use this command. Um, robot 
dot star dot robot so this will uh, basically so this is basically uh, identify uh, all dot robot files present in that particular folder and we will uh, trigger the execution okay now just now we need to do a parallel execution so what does uh, a robot uh, framework support uh, in the uh, robot framework support something called as um, pabot okay this is a pabot is another library so pabot this is a pabot website so this is a command that you need to install pabot again you are doing it with uh, pip okay so pabot uh, need to be installed uh, using the pip command so right now i already have that installed okay uh, so here is a clear documentation okay on how to use pabot so this is the library uh, the uh, the github um, repository for pabot where they are maintaining a clear documentation how to use so this is a step you need to uh, install uh, by pabot and uh, usages are also mentioned here so basically um, robot framework supports uh, command line execution uh, we can give default parameters so all default parameters what robots framework support is also supported in pabot so i will show you a sample command okay here i am this, this is a sample command pabot hyphen uh, process uh, so process hi, uh, process two means i need two thread or two instances of uh, chrome and uh, I, uh, I need the output directory the robot uh, the result should be st stored in the output directory named as result so this uh, steps basically runs uh, the robot framework in two uh, parallel uh, browsers and the results will be uh, copied to a new folder called results in the same directory where we are running and we'll have the HTML results there. So I'm just using this command and show how parallel execution will work. So just closing this Chrome. Okay. So just type in this command, a uh, pabot hyphen process to output directory result uh, dot star robot. So it is, uh, you can see two Chrome uh, is has opened. Okay. See, uh, in both executions happening. So right now we have two draw, dot robot files. Okay, two robot dot robot files and each one is getting executed uh, as a separate thread. Okay, so you will have the uh, once uh, execution is completed, uh, you will have the results uh, in consolidated in this uh, result folder. So if you go and look at this, So we'll get consolidated reports uh, of the two set of uh, suits that you have run parallelly. So that's all about uh, parallel execution. I think I have uh, covered most of the basic uh, topics that comes under uh, uh, the Selenium library and robot framework. Now, if you want to do any uh, advanced uh, uh, operations that is Selenium is capable of, we have the inbuilt set of libraries available, okay? And additionally, I will show uh, some of the additional use cases, uh, like, uh, okay? So if you go to the Selenium, the robot framework website, you can see there is a, there are free demos available. So this, if you go to uh, the demo session and we click on web demo, you can, it will take you to the GitHub page where you can get the uh, sample code for uh, Selenium and the, the, the web version 
automating web version using uh, Selenium library. So it contains a default pa pa application and based on the application, they have written some test cases. Uh, I will show you I, I, what you can do is you can just uh, either clone this or you can just download this into your local machine as a folder, extract that and open that either in uh, Eclipse or in uh, PyCharm. Uh, so uh, right now I have opened that. So this is that example of this web demo. Uh, uh, so let me open that. So this is a web demo master this project. Okay. So there are uh, there are instructions available. Okay, how to run this? Okay. Uh, so running this demo, first of all, you should install uh, the. You should just in command prompt you can type in pip install minus r requirements. This will install the requirements for the sample applications. Then uh, you can just start uh, this application by using this command. Python demo app server dot py. So this thing you can uh, this is not the project. Okay, this is the project. So it will uh, what it does. It will basically uh, start a demo web application that is already available. So you can find the code that is already here. Okay, so there is also test written. Okay, there are dot robot files created in different formats. Okay, I'll come to that. So here the application will be up. Okay, so it has hosted the the demo application, and now uh, now you have uh, okay the application is uh, up and running. Now you can uh, run the test cases, uh, the robot framework test cases. So these are, there are examples of uh, test cases written in data-driven format, where you can give a, a define a template. Okay, you can define a template and you can give the uh, the use the data-driven approach for testing. So this is an example of that. Okay, here also we have, so this is the web demo master, the same project. Right now application is up and running. Now you have, let me run this sample test here. Uh, so, so you have the default code available. Uh, you can just have a reference of that. Uh, so screenshots will be taken if it, something is failed. Uh, so I, I, you can see, this is that these are the advanced usages where you can reference uh, different classes different dot robot files uh, in order to use so here you can see there is no definition created for this uh, uh, this keyword so it is referenced from a different file so when you start creating a framework uh, maybe uh, in a structured way you can follow approaches like this where you can create a um, separate uh, dot resource dot folder where we have the keywords written for whatever operations that we need to perform. And you can reference that in, a, uh, in the different file and you can make, you can make, you can simplify it in this way. So there are examples for uh, uh, Jerkins, uh, Jerkin uh, format of, um, for robot framework where you will write test cases in given when and then. Only thing is the format uh, is different uh, the keywords are, will remain the same. So you can, uh, this, this is the keyword, which is already defined here, which is in turn uh, uh, called the custom keyword. So you can have a look at it. You can just download this uh, repository. You can just try, try it. Okay. Uh, so robot resource.robot file contains all the settings, the variables created. Uh, it is kind of configuration file here. Okay. So that is all about uh, the web demo. So similarly, we have a uh, sorry. So we have uh, the another demo where we let's say if you are not having a uh, Selenium, okay. 
we don't want to use selenium but you need to do some unit testing and your library uh, your development is happening in python now you need to do uh, testing uh, using robot framework you can do the, you can do that so here is an example where uh, another uh, uh, another similar kind of application so here uh, what they have done they have created a um, python library for calculator so this is written in python okay and for this library in order to, to test that there is keyword driven test cases created okay just uh, similar to like what we have done uh, so parameters are passed uh, it is referencing instead of selenium library or instead of default library it is referencing the inbuilt library so let's say you are having development and this that library needs to be tested you can reference that and you can test it here okay so here are there are examples for how to do that using jerkins how to do that using a data driven framework okay let me run this okay so it has not got any ui so execution has completed let me show you the result see here uh, it is testing the calculator functionalities uh, using different keywords for addition for subtraction so what are the keywords used what are the custom libraries used what are the um, uh, the keywords inbuilt keywords used here so what is failed what keywords cause the failure so that kind of information you can get it from here okay now uh, finally uh, uh, so we have as i said earlier there are a lot of integration available for uh, for uh, uh, robot framework so there is no dependency with the tools and technologies so whatever technology whatever technology that is supported uh by the ecosystem you can uh, test it using robot framework so it can be like mobile testing it can be like um, um uh, uh, dzango it can be like um, uh the api testing it can be like uh, it can be like any any kind of uh, like any kind of technology that is listed here we have the libraries created so you can use it along with a uh, robot framework uh, and yeah that's pretty much about the uh, the robot framework so let me know if you have any questions so we can discuss it here okay i am uh, i can see some questions uh, so suppose we have to hand over the script to a client how can we export it how it will be uh, uh, imported in client's location so the beauty of robot framework is uh, we just need to track this dot robot files okay so once we have the dot robot files and if you have python we can run it anywhere so let's say you are having a development okay for a web application you can say you can have this repository along with the development code and you can track it using uh, git or any other source control management systems uh, so that this files can uh, will be version controlled and will be tracked so only these files dot robot files are record and uh, you can you can have the integration with uh, uh the cacd tools like jenkins or any other tools and you can run it uh, in any machine where we have python so i i got a question is it okay if you use system for some other works when this execution is happening yes it is fine it is similar to how we use selenium uh, in in a traditional way so the same library is invoked there is no change in technology so uh, robot framework doesn't know anything about selenium it what it does what it does is it provides a uh, 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 a place where it can run the unit tests and uh, in a unified way and provide the reports so rest all uh, related to automation is taken by uh, the external libraries so selenium will take care of 
the uh, the interaction with chrome and and uh, if you are using white library it will take the interaction with the desktop so it is basically the libraries that basically uh, decides okay how the it should behave so we are just extending it to robot framework robot framework directly it is not involved in any kind of um, interaction with the external system so how to parameterize uh, test so you can you can provide uh, parameters in the you can pass parameters from command line so just like uh, if you go and look at the selenium uh, uh, the the documentation for robot framework you can see what are the keywords uh, that uh, that is supported so you can find the sample use cases where we can uh, provide parameters and receiving that parameter it will trigger let's say if you want to parameterize the browser okay you can accept give that parameter the value uh, that is browser value as chrome through uh, uh, through the command line and it will tra trigger based on that so how can we handle repeaters i think that is already answered we can follow a uh, page object model seen in, uh, in robot framework so it is open to any kind of um, uh, any kind of um, uh, models uh, basically from output result we can see testng what was we are using it here uh, i don't see any output uh, testng is not uh, uh, available default here so uh, if you are using a testng project then definitely uh, the, you can get reports in testng uh, in the testng format we have integration is there you can integrate any other external uh, report uh, tools with robot framework but by default robot framework provides its own uh, default html reports which can be uh, modified uh, so you can you create your own uh, libraries on top of the uh, existing apis or existing libraries and you can extend it um, to meet your requirements any more questions so uh, uh okay i think uh, so we are done with the questions so we um, so we discussed a lot about uh, robot framework it is a tool that you can easily try and uh, you can you can find the recording of this session from uh, the youtube channel anytime you can uh, you can follow these steps mentioned here or you have the documentation available so we also have a whatsapp group um, so in case if you are uh, stuck at some point or if you have any questions uh, you can post your questions there we'll be uh, we'll be happy to help you uh, in that case Uh, Manu, are you there? I think uh, we have uh, come to the end of the session. Okay, so uh, thanks everyone. Uh, uh, so uh, just try robot framework from your end and see how it is going let us know your feedbacks okay thanks uh, thanks for uh, joining this wonderful session today and uh, thank you all <laughs>